Okay, so you're gonna put your left hand on that paper. You get your fingers on there if you can. There you go, perfect. And I'm gonna trace that way. You don't, you don't need to move. You guys, it would help if you had two people, one to trace and one to just hold their hand, because it's kind of hard sometimes to trace your own hand. So it helps, oops, kind of hard to trace somebody else's hand too. I give you one finger now. There you go. And then on the other paper, you'll do your right hand. That way the two turkeys will face each other. So you put your right hand down there and trace that one. You're tracing them, go ahead and pick that up, on pieces of paper that look like this. that are just square pieces of paper. We're not gonna cut anything out. We're just gonna glue them on here. You'll be given two choices of paper uh, that are longer and skinnier. I chose to write Happy Thanksgiving on this one. Notice I went a little bit, I started way over here and ended up short, so I might just fold that over when I glue it so it looks like it's perfectly right in the middle, or I might fold it like that, give it a real good crease, and then just carefully tear that piece away. So that way it just says Happy Thanksgiving. You may be given a piece that's a little wider. You can also put that down on the paper here and write five things that you're thankful for but I'm gonna glue that up at the top and color that. We're gonna take this handprint now, if you can zoom in on that, that is gonna be our turkey. So if you'll come over here closer and get over the top, I'll show you how you're gonna make that. So you're just going to add a wing right here and just add some feathers to it like that. You're gonna add an eyeball up here and you can just do a dot for an eye or you can make it big like this with an eye looking that way. <laughs> You'll do a beak on the front. And then you do that little thing under their chin like this that hangs down like that. And then you'll color each of these a different color. So that would be, you might wanna go like red, yellow, orange, green, I don't know, maybe a brown, yellow, orange, red, something like that. But you'll color all this part in different colors up here up in this area, those would be different colors. And then this can all just be brown. You can do different shades of brown or a black outline for all of the stuff out here. And that would be your turkey. And you'll do two on each side. And then you write all the things that you're thankful for here. So you might, with your marker, write that you're thankful for family. Maybe somebody you're working with is thankful for books. I love reading good books. So you might write books. And you can list five things that you're thankful for. Again, that should be in color. And then feel free to decorate all over the rest of your placemat. And we will take these over and give them to our fr friends at some of our um, assisted living homes. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I finished my placemat. Actually, it's not actually done, but I just drew a little bear up here, just the Bear Tooth Elementary. So they know it's coming from us over here at Bear Tooth. I did rewrite the Happy Thanksgiving and just did it in black and white. Here's what my turkey turned out like. I just colored it and I did change the eye to just a dot instead of doing something fancy. And I wrote, wrote legs down here because I ran out of room on the paper because my daughter's handprint was so large. And then this one is blank. So I would do another one over here and put my right hand on this one and make another turkey there. And notice I've got some of the things listed here in the middle that I am thankful for this Thanksgiving. I could also do something else over here if I wanted to and put something like the House of Isabindi, uh, something that way I could color the Happy Thanksgiving up here. But again, I would have one done here. And then um, we're also gonna show you a couple other pictures of what yours might be able to look like. Have fun.